Peggy 18. Welcome to our first State of Play of 2023. We've got a lot to show you, including an in-depth demo of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. But first, PlayStation VR 2 is finally here. Let's dive right in with a look at five games arriving on PlayStation VR 2 this year. Let's see how you do this time. Kid, we gotta work on your focus. Distractions. Jim. Jim? Jim. They'll get you killed out there. Remember what we shook on. Or, I guess we'll just have to keep this up. Ah! Oh, no, no, no! Let's try again, shall we? This may be hard to hear. The Empire will fall. Our galaxy will be plunged into 30,000 years of chaos and war. Thank you for saving us the Ever Dragon. We can't stop it. But 
there is a plan to save humanity. So, will you fight for a dying empire? Or help us to reach foundation? Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. Just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. It's Chloe, your neighbor. The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. It's only a matter of time. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. And just try to enjoy it this time. That was a sneak peek at some great upcoming games for PlayStation VR 2. Up next, Bungie gives us a stunning new look at Destiny 2 Lightfall, which launches on PS5 next week. What is that? The Witness. The malefactor of our first collapse is at our doorstep. You have no purpose. Because, because you fear to seek one. That fear is your failure. Vanguard to all units. Keep the enemy away from the Traveler at all costs. This is what you Understand what's at stake like there. Not all of us have lives to spare. Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. Our purpose is its end. The battle begins here and now.
Chia is one of our most anticipated games, and it's launching into the PlayStation Plus game catalog in March. Speaking of PlayStation Plus, let's take a look at what's in store next month. Our next game is from Enhance, the creators of Tetris Effect and Res Infinite. So, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um, make an impact? Yeah, perfect. Go with that. Are you okay? You've come into this year kind of intense with the band stuff. The band is important. Why did she have to just leave? I said it was an emergency. You did? And it is to you. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. But to me, everything feels different now. We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. But. There's only so much time we have left. How are we supposed to just be fine? Just cut you off completely. I'll inherit my master's will. You can't defeat me. No matter what you become, I will always love you. 
The Hokage is the person who walks in front of everyone and bears all the pain. Why are you so obsessed with me? Naruto. Because we're friends. Here we go. <laughs> in a flash. Huh? My blood is boiling. Charge. No despair. You can't escape. How about this? You were. Move! I win. Don't underestimate the will of fire. I'll settle this. Now is the hour of judgment. Amaterasu. The weak are This is the power of all the whole no! Get going, Lee. Here I go. I'll protect you to the end. Sting to the beat of the killer bee heat. No! Prepare yourself. Sweet dreams. How about this? You'll be eaten alive. Huh? Ah! Idiot. Catch. Lock on. No, Choji! Shino, fire all round! Super Beast Scroll! Here I come, Hinata! From here forth, history will be spun again. And so began their journey. <laughs> on a path with no end. <laughs> with this power, I will establish perfect order. What you describe is nothing more than oppression through force and fear. My frail little brother. No. I do not wish to fight you, elder brother. Captivating fantasy worlds await in our next two games. I'll tell you a story, true soul. My life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. I must finish what I started. Death's design will be complete. Discover Gatherick's secret. Find out what it is that makes him invincible so we can strip him of his advantage. You're a pawn, a slave, to forces you cannot comprehend. Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. Together, we will strike down the Absolute. Bow before me. Bow before the Absolute. Bow! Welcome to Wayfinder, an online multiplayer adventure for you and your friends. It's all set in Evanor a gorgeous but fallen world. You'll control the chaos through Wayfinders. Meet Senja, who likes to get up close and personal. And Silo, who fights with both firepower and fast reflexes. And Wingrave slices through the frame while also supporting the group. Put another victory under our belts. Let's head to Skylight, our social hub. Here, you'll turn your loot into new weapons and wayfinders. You can also explore dungeons called Lost Zones that you can modify and mutate for a greater challenge. Lost Zones are where you and your friends will team up to complete quests, collect loot, and hunt bosses like this Titan. We're excited to bring Wayfinders Beta exclusively to PlayStation, and you can sign up for the chance to play early now. Thanks for watching. We've got big updates on two highly anticipated Capcom games, starting with the debut of three new characters for Street Fighter VI. Yeah! <laughs> 
take your last ride! Let's go! My beautiful body is built better! I call upon you, great wind. Toino Ikonoi, spirit of the wind. Let yourself become one with it. You see, we are all connected through the Holy Body. When you need only accept the sacred gift. Christ! Like... She did. Temperance, child. I've taken the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Ah, the entertainment. Without further ado, the gallant knight Protects the princess fair. <laughs> I'll make it cheap for you. Move! Is it always like this with you? How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Long time no see. Major Krauser? Why? You can't save her. You can't save anyone. What's gonna happen to me? We gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Together. Thanks. Then come, Sancho Panza! Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea! You gotta hurt yourself. Mm. Sorry! Bad traffic! One combat shot will cost him into hunting it! Ha! Ha! This is kind of fun! Ahead! You're kidding. Whoa! Ah, yes. The time has come. Like I told you. I'm gonna get you home safe. I'm ready to die, rookie. Exalt all the earth! And let it be so! This time... It has to be different. Will now! Time to cause some mayhem!
The show's not over yet. It's Harley Quinn, Deadshot, King Shark, and Captain Boomerang against the world's greatest DC superheroes in this extended look at Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Let's hear from developer Rocksteady Studios. Hi everyone, my name is Dara Sedarian and I'm the studio product director at Rocksteady Studios. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is the next installment in the Arkhamverse and will be releasing this May. It is a third person action shooter set five years after the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Metropolis has been invaded and you're going in as the Suicide Squad members, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot and Captain Boomerang to face off against the ultimate threat, a corrupted Justice League. The team has been hard at work at creating the best possible game experience for our players and we're very excited to share more as part of this state of play. Today, let's take a brief look at one of the missions in our game. The Flash has been corrupted by Brainiac, and as the Suicide Squad, you'll need to work together in up to four-player online co-op to stop the Flash and rescue Lex Luthor in the process. Enjoy. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Hello, Brainiac. Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. Good news. You want Luther? All you have to do is come and get him. alive. And he has Luther. One damn thing at a time. That artillery is going to wreak havoc on our front line. If there's a snowball's chance in hell you can destroy it, I expect you to, no matter the cost. Are we clear? Yeah. We're the snowball. Time to light them all up. <laughs> Incoming Holly! <laughs> Out of my way. I guess Quinn ain't holding anything back for later. <laughs> Hold my beer, guys. Let's dance! Ah! <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. Focus our fire on this tank. Why do we never get reinforcements? Under upon this tank.
though. How'd the whole taking down the Flash thing go? Still in play? Now get out of my way. I have work to do. Well, hey there, sleepyhead. We've got an interrogation to get back to. Hey! You think I'm just gonna let you walk away? And tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop us? Pathetic. Pathetic? At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a spaceman! <laughs> okay, Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. Flash, how do I stop this? <laughs> Please, tell me how. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League arrives on PS5 May 26th. Rocksteady Studios has even more to share today. Let's listen in. Show me what you got. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going, and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope the fans like about Rocksteady, but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've never seen before. <laughs> We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world, and we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, but through the eyes of the villains. We're picking up the story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed in that time. Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City, the Justice League are there to try and save the city, but Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very people they've been sworn to protect. Oh, fuck, it's Superman! So the Justice League share the same goal as Brainiac, to take over Earth and turn it into the new Kalu. What we've created is a classic Justice League, but with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now doing Brainiac's bidding, and Amanda Waller scrambles to try to uh, remedy this and essentially save the Earth. And she recruits our four lovable characters into fighting the Justice League in an effort to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Your new mission is to kill the Justice League. The members of the Suicide Squad are Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. Harley Quinn is definitely the most acrobatic of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind of physicality of it and, and trying to keep that momentum going and use that to go over buildings or swing under bridges and chain that into kind of the, the grapple mechanic that she's got, it just feels spot on. I'm a freaking superstar! Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a rocksteady twist. He's got a real swagger to him. And in this game, he can also hover with his jetpack. He's super precise, he uses sniper rifles, assault rifles and pistols, and they all fit with his sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin. Are you on Team Waller? Or Team Get the Hell Out of This Mess? King Shark, to me, as, as a person, is, well, as a fish is this incredible character who's super well-read and super well-to-do and I'm sure could smash an operatic performance. Actually, I'm the son of a god. It is my shame to suffer mortals and their buffoonery. 
but also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is a brute. He is a, a tank character. He can take more damage. His abilities all lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal. He's the fastest melee character. Captain Boomerang's got his um, Speed Force gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and speed force to that point along the walls, along the floor, and get wherever he wants to go. You can use that to get up close, dodge around in mid-air, taking out the enemies, and then scarper because he, he doesn't want to stick around. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. One of the most exciting parts that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. Piss off, Widow. And you have Penguin, the arm stealer. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack, who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate the world, but also upgrade their neck bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike on a nice bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. And then finally we have Gizmo, who is helping the squad with insane vehicle creations that let you blow shit up. Metropolis is your playground. You're going to get to meet different characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant a stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean, it's very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So there is a lot of statues to thank Superman for everything he's done for the city. You're getting to see Metropolis through the villains' eyes. You're getting to experience this world and traverse through this world as the villains. Greetings, Metropolis! So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves. And the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly changing. Working out how to use all your different weapons, your guns, your melee attacks, and how to use them all to your best advantage to control the chaos and come out victorious. What's awesome about gunplay is the variety. So there's six core types of weapon families. We've got assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety from weapon manufacturers. There's LexCorp weapons, there's GCPD weapons, there's Amartek weapons. Later on in the game, we also have gear sets. The gear sets are villain themed. For example, if you have a Bane gear set and you trigger his buffs in the game, some of it will have the Bane drums and you feel like Bane and like boom, boom, boom. And then there's like green smoke and you trigger all kinds of effects. So you're basically taking the essence of the villain, you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear in the game, your gear score goes up. And as that number goes up, it means that you can take on much harder missions. As part of this progression journey, you will unlock more and more builds, more and more ways to customize your character to really fit the way you want to play. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you're gonna get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need and to complete your missions, but most importantly, you will be able to customize your squad to be whatever you like. You can wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around in your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score ever. I like it. Our game is a one to four player co-op experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing with a friend, two friends, or three friends. For the single player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad so you still feel like you're part of a team. And you can switch them if you want. I'm going to try King Shark now. Uh, or we can say, well, I think Harley will be a better fit for this mission. So I'm going to switch over and I'm going to try her out. But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four lets you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how you can all play together in different play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice League. All the fun is right here. When the story is done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We're going to deliver lots of new content to our players. We're going to have new playable characters, new weapons, and new missions. For players who like to customize their looks, we'll offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic items. There's just going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just picture it. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. If you like story games, if you like RPG elements, if you like co-op games, if you like customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, 
this game kind of has it all. It's very fast paced, it's really colourful, it's loud and unapologetic and in your face and it's going to be really, really fun. Hey Metropolis, do you like live executions? Well don't touch that dial, or I'll break your fingers. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League arrives on PS5 later this year. We'll be back with more announcements soon. Thanks for watching. PlayStation.